welcome to Money Matters. I'm Alicia Davis in New York. Now, bacon is an American favorite for many, but for soldiers deployed in Iraq, bacon is banned by the Muslim country because of religious reasons. Well, that is until two guys put their heads together and came up with the idea for a kosher vegetarian seasoning that gives just about anything the taste and flavor of bacon. It is called Bacon Salt, and we are so happy to be joined by its co-founders, Justin Esch and Dave Lefkow. And we are also joined by Leanne Wong. She is an executive chef, and she has prepared some dishes for us that go great with bacon salt. Guys, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for, thanks having, for having us. Thanks for having us. So, Dave, I'll Hi, start Alicia, with thanks. you. Tell us about bacon salt and what it's made of and how you came up with this creation. So, bacon salt is a zero-fat, zero-calorie, vegetarian, and kosher seasoning that makes everything taste like bacon. And the way this came up was, uh, it's actually Justin's idea originally. It's one of those kind of ideas that I think sounds like a great, the greatest idea ever, and you wake up the next morning and you realize, wow, I just registered a domain and started the trademark application process. And uh, along the way, we ended up winning $5,000 on America's Funniest Home Videos. My kid hit me in the face with a baseball. And uh, that actually ended up, uh, ended up funding the company, and we launched the product. All right, so Justin, I mean, tell us about how you got this off the ground. First of all, how you got the idea, and then how you got it, this business off the ground. You know, uh, bacon salt was actually an idea that was inspired by uh, a drink that my brother and I had had. I grew up in a town called Telluride, Colorado. Uh, they serve this cocktail called a Mitch Morgan. It's a shot of bourbon with a bacon garnish. Sounds kind of weird, but we were just having, uh, we were at a, a wedding in New York for a childhood friend, and we were talking about just bacon, our love of bacon, and weird, funny things like the Mitch Morgan. And the idea just kind of came to me that the world needed a seasoning salt that tasted like bacon. And Chef Wong, I want to bring you in on this. <laughs> How did you get your hands on bacon salt? Actually, I'm, a, I'm an avid pork lover and a bacon fan. And so my best friend had bought me a bottle um, sort of as a, a little bacon gift over the summer. And we, we took it to one of my good friend's wedding over La Labor Day weekend. And we took uh, the entire wedding album has people posing with bacon salt. All right, and now <laughs> talk to us about some of the dishes that you can serve bacon salt with, because you're the pro here. I, uh, you know, it, it's a great product. Um, obviously, as a pro professional chef, I prefer to use real bacon, but, you know, I came across the bacon salt. I've been having so much fun with it, and there are a lot of uh, obvious uses for it, and there are some more creative uses. I mean, first of all, you can make your French fries taste like bacon without add any added fat. Um, and then it's also it's also really perfect for grilling any sort of uh, dry rubs marinades you know I just sprinkled some bacon salt on some jumbo shrimp grilled them up they have fantastic flavor of course people like to wrap shrimp in bacon but if you don't eat bacon it's fantastic um, it's perfect as just a seasoning for crudite you can jazz up your crudite eat, eat those really healthy vegetables and now they taste like bacon <laughs> Let's see, I got a couple more dishes here. And then to be a little bit more creative, um, I have what I, I made what I call the, the BLT salad. So this is just um, different colored tomatoes. We have some heirloom varieties. I made a little uh, dressing with the bacon salt and some oil, and I, I just basically dressed the lettuce and I seasoned the tomatoes with the bacon salt, and it tastes like a BLT. Leanne, I have to tell you, that stuff looks terrific. <laughs> it Thank looks you. delicious. Thank you. So uh, you have Leanne as a fan, and I understand that bacon salt has quickly earned a strong following in Iraq. So strong that you've even started something called Operation Bacon Salt. Tell us about that. <laughs> So Operation Bacon Salt is an initiative to provide bacon salt to the troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. We like to call those the bacon-oppressed countries of the world. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's different countries out there, obviously, that, that can't have bacon for religious and, and cultural reasons. And uh, we started getting letters from troops. So uh, it started with a soldier in Ohio that sent us a letter and said, you know, these MREs really don't taste that great. Uh, and it's just one of those things, I miss bacon. And so we started sending bacon out there and turned it into an, in into an, initi an initiative. And now, does even the name bacon cause any problems over there where pork is so banned? Well, we, uh, we are kosher, the, the product is, and I really haven't had any problems mailing uh, bacon salt to the troops. I think that it was really just they wanted to put the bacon flavoring on just about anything they have, and it actually turns out to pair pretty nicely with MREs, so it's worked out. And at this point, no one has come to us and said, no bacon in Iraq or Afghanistan, so everything's going fine. All right. And now we talk about going fine. You guys have no formal marketing campaign behind bacon salt, but you've definitely gotten the word out. How have you done that? Is it mostly word of mouth? 
It, it's been completely word of mouth. We started with a Facebook group, a MySpace profile, and just started adding people that said, I love bacon on their MySpace profiles, and ended up with uh, a couple thousand friends and, and people in our Facebook group who really just started really carrying the flag for us and telling everybody they knew about bacon salt. There's actually a, a bacon salt society in Charlotte, North Carolina. They have a three-foot effigy of bacon salt that they bring to college basketball games. It's really, it's a fanatical customer base. It's, it's really been driven by word of mouth from people that love the product. All right, so for people who, to whom this sounds really good, where can they get their bacon salt? Bacon salt is currently available uh, in stores like uh, uh, Meyer stores out in the Midwest, on the West Coast in Seattle, or in QFC stores. But we're currently launching with a couple bigger name brand grocery chains like Kroger, uh, Stop and Shop out in the Northeast in the Boston area, and working towards some deals possibly with Winn Dixie. Um, it's on about 1,250 stores right now on the shelf, and by September 1st, it'll be in a little five, about five or six thousand. The process of getting food products out there and getting them into the market is. Uh, it's not quick, um, so we've had a lot of luck and a lot of support and just real happy that you guys had us on to share the word of bacon. And if there's any retailers who want to carry our products, send us an email. <laughs> right, and I understand you, <laughs> you guys have grossed a half million dollars with this so far, yes? Yeah, we've uh, sales have been going well. Uh, everywhere we put it, it's been flying off the shelves. Uh, there's people that email us and say, hey, I drove two hours out of my way to get to the store and they didn't have it on the shelf, which we apologize if that was anyone out there, but uh, you know, it <laughs> yeah, happens. Absolutely. It's definitely been selling well. So. And you're going to work on that. Well, listen, Justin, Dave, Leanne, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Thank bacon you. without the fat, you thank cannot you. beat that. <laughs> and for more information on bacon salt and how you can get yours, you can check out www.baconsalt.com. That's it for now, but there's more business news at abcnews.com. I'm Alicia Davis in New York. Thanks for joining us.